three games to go for the KW Titans, and they got to make them count, trailing the Windsor Express for that third seed in the National Basketball League of Canada standings. The Titans need to go 3-0 down the stretch to secure that third spot. Here's Jones trying to roll off the screen from Lightfoot in the paint. Little floater is good. Brent Jones gets KW on the board. Harris, pump fake over to Mosby. Give and go back to him. Floater in the lane is good and a foul. Jeremy Harris, a chance for the end one. Seven of their first eight attempts from the floor. Here's Harris trying to make him pay the other way. Jeremy Harris trying to shake and bake on Jaquan Lightfoot. Turns it over. Lightfoot in for the two-hand flush. 4.45 into quarter number one. Here is A.J. Mosby, his first season in the league. Back to Mosby, corner three, puts it in. Credit the assist to Vital. Touch the line as he went for that play, or if it had a redirection of some sort. Backing in, no good on the first attempt. Second one is good for Mark Vital. By the time he displaces him, even with the missed shot, he's right there for the rebound, and he has nothing to do with that. Hayes, beautiful move in on the finger roll. Long rebound, chased down by Lightfoot. Edwards only has Harris to beat and lays it in. And the rebound pops out to Jones. Here's Akano in transition. Sam Akano charging in and lays it in. He had a clean slip to the lane and he was just kind of chugging along there and they couldn't find him. Kindred long two puts it in. Joel Kindred checks into the game and makes his first field goal attempt. Puts the Titans up four. Solid at the line, too. A 76% free throw shooter. Akano, no good, but gets the rebound. Pump fake, drives, kicks in the corner. Open three for Mike Poole. Bang! Off to Akano. Akano stops, takes a three, and drills it. Sam Akano having himself a first quarter, and the Titans have a double-digit lead. Way they're just dominating both ends of the court. Urgency and energy, and that's key, and we've seen it so far. Harris the spit and the slam. That's why he's probably going to win the MVP. He is slick on the offensive end. Poole backing in off the window and gets it to go. He's got an array of weapons in his game, and that's why, as you said, he's so versatile. Poole driving, gets it to go. Back-to-back -back buckets for Mike Poole. Things are looking all too easy right now for KW. They're up 13. That's tied for his second lowest total of the season. Kearns from the elbow, puts it in. I mean, even though Braylon Rayson's out just for one game, I mean, what effect does that have defensively and offensively at this point? Mosby, tough looking shot and drops it in. Again, Rayson's out. It's one of the team's lean scores at 17.7 points per game. So you got to replace that somehow up top. Pool driving, he pulls up from the elbow and knocks it down. The Titans cannot miss right now. That's four straight makes from the field, and they're up 13. They put up 29-30 per quarter. You got to think they're going to be in pretty good shape against a top team like Sudbury tonight. Seven on the shot clock. Harris baseline jumper puts it in. But you're wondering, again, takes time to gel with new pieces and guys like Kindred coming off the bench. And, you know, if you time it beautifully, it's a tough making basket made there by Pool by few and 40% from the land beyond. So they've got to figure out what they want to do here. It's a long tray ball made by the league's MVP last year, Joel Kindred. Mosby out to Williams. That's a three. That's good. Dexter Williams Jr. from downtown. Gotten out to a hot start. It's about consistency now, especially once you get into playoff mode. Kindred puts in the corner three. He's made a couple now. Two of three from beyond the arc. AJ Mosby Jr. Notice, driving, needs this one, and gets it. Back to Brown. Five on the shot clock now. Jalen Hayes going to work. Deep three-pointer, puts it in. At 50% in that first cue. So, I mean, they're all close to 70%. Akano, that's a three, and that's good. Sam Akano firing on all cylinders. That's his third triple of the evening. Off to Notice. Bounce pass inside to Harris, working on Brown, and gets the roll. They've got to make some adjustments going into the half because they had that mini run there, but then look, Blake and Vinay, it's back up to 20. Flying in, vital. Welcome north of the border. Former Super Bowl and national champ throws it down. Here's Edwards. Looking for the quick pass inside to Poole. Turnaround, pretty shot. Drops it in. Mike Poole continues to remain perfect. Seven of seven. 16 points to heading to the locker room inside a minute 
Edwards from the elbow puts it in. Have the final look to try and cut into this massive Titans lead in the first half. Jeremy Harris lost the handle. Four seconds off to Williams. And here's Poole at the buzzer. Got it off and gets it. Mike Poole, it's a 60 piece for the Titans in the first half. And they are roaring here at the odds, 60 to 37 after the first 24 minutes. Akano, straightaway three, puts it in. Sam Akano, how about another? So the KW lead still at 26. Light foot, oh, with authority, throwing it down. Real dangerous pick and roll action there and a slip by Harrison to the paint. Vital, working along the baseline, lays it up and in. Position. I mean, they had a chance there for a second at a three-on-one and just hesitation on where to go with the ball there. you got to have heads-up basketball. Harris, the pump fake, and then puts that one in. Once again in transition. Mosby up to Vital, climbing the ladder and bringing it down. Oh, boy. And as we talked about earlier, KW's got to win all three of these games. So a win tonight doesn't mean anything without a win tomorrow. Ramel Brown getting up for the rejection. Here's Jones in transition. Brent Jones takes it himself and lays it in. We can... Him and Kindred, though, matching with the shoes as well. Harris from the free throw line puts oh, it in. Stop it. Jeremy Harris. My God, like, I don't know how he does it half the time. Massive first half. Did not miss any two-point field goals. Went seven of seven. And they're playing kind of a matchup 2-3 zone here as well, as that works beautifully as they collapse into the lane there. Two on one the other way. Off to McCray, throws it down. Is in the lane waiting to make a pass. O'Connell, good on the J. Trigger is at hit, sees up to 18 points. In any of the three quarters so far, they've been locked in on both ends of the court. O'Connell contested look from downtown and puts it in. They have just not found their stroke from beyond the arc. Williams, the tenacity diving on him and then trips up Ramel Brown, so that'll be the fourth foul on number four. And for the Titans, I mean, you're not big in this fourth quarter, but O'Connell got away with the blade in one there, too, as he went right into Williams Jr. And there's and a hit there, too. After. And there should be, both got to be careful that it's not a flagrant either way. Both and this, so this is how it starts. And, you know, Williams Jr. has every reason to be upset. He's got to be careful not to throw a punch in this situation. As you mentioned, Akano definitely got away with one. Highest it's been all night for KW. You wonder what the chippiness is like after that foul, though, in the next minute or so here, too. Kindred steps up, drills a three. He's got four points in a matter of second. Also, of course, have to give full context Sudbury. They do not have Braylon Rayson active tonight. They also don't have J.D. Miller active tonight. He is the fourth leading scorer in the league, also the second highest rebounder in the league. So, as mentioned, the fewest points that the five have scored in the game is 85. They've got about six minutes to score 21 points to try and match that. Poole battling underneath, high off the window, counted and a foul. Mike Poole a chance for a three-point play. Here's Harris. Step back three, left it short. Vital going up for the rebound. McCray another chance. Rims out. Vital another opportunity. McCray again, banging down low, throws it down. Montel McCray. I don't know how you can turn that down. Don't know how you can turn. Well, it the down. bonus is the toppings. I mean, it's not just you know pepperoni or cheese as a little flavor added on the layup there by Harris. <laughs> Two to go. Sudbury ready to fire that bus back up and. Head north up to 400. Harris gets it to squeeze in. Sudbury, certainly not the road trip that they were expecting to face the bottom two teams in the league and come away empty. Edwards, coast to coast, two hand flush. And the good thing is they have a couple days to reset mentally and physically after, you know, a tumultuous road trip to say the least. It's the smallest guy on the court with the biggest steal of the evening. And Edwards, how about another one? How things have turned in 24 hours. Sudbury starts the road trip first for the National Basketball League of Canada now. 
their fate is no longer in their own hands. They're going to need a London loss tomorrow to have a chance to win the first overall seed.